Hi, Larry Stewart with ForConstructionPros.com at ConExpo ConAg 2020. We're in JLG booth with Nate Hoover, who's uh, director of product um, product management, management and, and marketing, marketing for JLG booth. I knew I'd get it. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, they, uh, a, a self-leveling boom lift uh, we're looking at here today. Talk right. a little bit about how this developed and, and uh, what was the, the impetus behind it. Sure. Well, in 2017, um, we started to engage the market with a concept we developed over a number of years. And we wanted to work through what we call customer-inspired innovation. And that's the way we engage the market to understand the market needs, to listen to our customers, listen to the operators in the field, in the moment. Yeah. And, and, and really... Uh, apply what we learned and then innovate around those opportunities. And South Lemonade is probably a great example of that where we heard a lot of pain points, and two of which included one, the, the, the need to reposition over and over and over again a standard boom lift with a rigid chassis with an oscillating axle. Mm -hmm. And that can be really challenging, right? Because sometimes it's not, you're not successful. So the alternative is to find some type of material to somehow get it level under the tires, create a formal crimping environment, or in the worst case, to create an excavated oasis, if you will, of flat land amongst a sea of uneven terrain. Mm -hmm. The second pain point we heard from our customers and our users was we need to have to get a much bigger boom lift in order to reach way out over a job site. And in order to do that, they had to create a spot well off the job site and a superintendent or someone responsible on that job had to make those continued decisions, make that investment of time on a regular basis. And that, that boom lift was able to reach well over you know, some materials and people and machines to get to that building envelope in order to be able to do the job they're paid to do. But it's an awful high cost, you know, using a high value asset for a relatively low value job. Yeah. One of the really key advantages of the self-leveling is not just its ability to level at a static location. Right? Well, that's important. It certainly is. But now, the magic is when it can drive and be elevated at the same time and level. Right? Mm -hmm. So way up elevated and leveling. So an operator can now increase their productivity by completing a job at elevation and move to another job at elevation without ever having to come down. Yeah. Again, decreasing time to get the job done they're paid to do, mm -hmm. increasing the productivity, and potentially helping with the bottom line. Yeah, okay. So the uh, regulation plays into this as well, yeah. right? I mean, the, the uh, requirement for a five degree, less than five degree uh, slope. Yeah, so, and, and coming in the, and later this year is called ANSI 9220. Mm -hmm. And ANSI 9220 is a regulation that sets the standards for AWPs or mobile elevated work platforms, MOOCs. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that is going to come into effect is the, the machine whatever that machine might be, and what's their standard movement, if it exceeds its rated incline um, capacity, if you will, it can no longer elevate, mm -hmm. which means that the machines out there that have been historically elevated for one reason or another past that rated incline, mm -hmm. they will no longer be able to do that. As a result, there is absolutely no work to be done, no productivity, no elevation to do a job at height. Yeah, yeah. So uh, how did you pull this off? The, the, you've got kind of an independent suspension system on all four wheels. Yeah, you know, and, and suspension is a good word for it. However, it's also a, a really controlled uh, cylinder-based and highly complex software algorithms in order to be able to make all of this happen. Sure. Um, so the chassis among the 670, which is a fully integrated solution, uh, is able to adjust to the ground based on understanding what's happening on the ground. The operator doesn't have to do anything. Right? So now the operator's up there understanding what's happening around them, but also not having to really concentrate on how to make sure it's level at all times. It does that. Right? Mm -hmm. um, one of the biggest challenges that we faced was how do we do that while also having complexity and the dynamics of a much larger boom swinging around, right? Yeah. It's no simple task. And we at JLG have an exceptional engineering team, and our reputation and our brand reflects that. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I assume that there's some an IMU or some IMUs on this thing that sort of helps sense the position of the of the upper structure and the hydraulic system takes that data and, and adapts to that. Okay. Yeah, and, and there's a lot of trade secret to be honest. You yeah. know, there's, there's a lot of intellectual property. Right? We brought this out and we've secured a lot of that because a lot of the stuff that we learned along the way is really some special stuff. Yeah. Um, and how we do that, I can't really speak to that, but what so, I can tell you is this. We have the ability to monitor the dynamics of the machine in such a way 
that is a highly performing uh, machine and a solution, a fully integrated solution. I noticed too in the demo that uh, uh, when when the machine goes into transport mode, when you when you, you lower it down to the ground, sure, yeah. you lower that that center of gravity. Why is the is the housing elevated during operation? What is the, what what does that accomplish? Oh, okay. So in, in other words, when it's fully engaged, right? Each yeah. of those cylinders start to contract, and the yeah. whole center of gravity drops down. Right. right. There's a plate. If I believe I'm mm -hmm. correct, there's a plate that you're referring to, which is has a clearance of about a half inch. Right. Well, the reason for that is when it's fully bottomed out and mechanically place in that structure, uh, that clearance allows it to be forward and backwards, turn left or right, for the operator who is transporting this to just get it in its final position on the trailer. Okay. Why is that important? Well, now you can properly tie it down. In some cases, even easier than some of the machines out the market today. Yeah. In addition to that, that permits that precision placement to have materials, other assets, and other things that you might have of high value to transport along with this. Yeah, yeah. Well, and, and we, sh we shouldn't overlook the, the how smoothly the uh, ride is for the operator at, at height uh, yeah. in this thing. You know, it's, yeah. not only is it capable of going up, but it's, it's capable of going up and keeping that operator in a much more relaxed position. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah, so as you think about an operator, for those of you who have operated a standard machine, and sometimes, and most times, as the ground un moves under your feet, uh, the platform lifts and floats yeah. and leans, and over time the operator now is in a position where they have to continue to maintain that stability and that floating of mm -hmm. their body. And subconsciously, they're doing that, but even consciously they're realizing over time, it is taxing. Sure. Right? And the other thing to note is, as ANSI starts to come into play, you know, again, that's not going to be possible, right? Yeah. But this is a solution among others, but this this is a very unique solution mm -hmm. in order to be able to deliver against ANSI requirements and exceed the five degree limits of all the other solutions, all of the other products in the market. Yeah. It goes up to 10 degrees. Does, do the ANSI standards, um, uh, uh, can, can they accommodate a machine like this or do, does there need to be a modification of the standard uh, in order to make this acceptable? Oh no, this is, this is, this is already ANSI compliant, fully okay. ANSI compliant. In fact, it meets and exceeds in many cases, those right, those expectations. In fact, it's, it, if I were to look at this from just how it performs, you know, it is a solution. Yeah. And maybe the solution. Yeah. You have to be determined, but it's a very high-performing answer to a lot of big challenges that we're facing as an industry. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a real interesting machine, and it was a uh, very interesting demonstration. And I wish you the best of luck with it. Yeah, we're, we're thrilled. Very excited. Just to make sure everyone knows this is this is very exciting for JLG. Yeah. This is one example of many as we go forward that you can come to expect from our brand. Everything we have today, durability, reliability, everything you come to expect from JLG is just continue to be increased over time as we innovate to meet our customers' needs. And we often say this, when we deliver a product to the market, we want our customers to look at us and say, you know what, JLG, you thought of everything. And we want to say to our customers, you know what, we didn't think of everything, you did. Our customers, we just listened, applied what we learned, and innovated. Well, good job. It's a good, good uh, um, demonstration and a real convincing uh, uh, product. Best of luck with it. Thanks so much. It was Thank a pleasure. You. Thank you. Bye. When your dealer services your cat, they know there's a lot more writing on it than just you. Let's do the work.